A true detox must include the intestines, also known as the bowels. This is the body's main channel for the elimination of toxic waste, and so important to your well-being that the natural health movement got started by focusing on this system. The small intestines are where digestion and the absorption of nutrients takes place. The large intestine, or colon, processes and eliminates digestive and some cellular waste. Most people's bowels are in terrible shape. Processed foods, high-protein diets, and other acidic foods take their toll. They cause acidosis, which destroys the bowel walls. The medical community calls this irritable bowel syndrome, Crohn's, enteritis, colitis, cancer, etc. Refined starches, sugar, and dairy products coat the bowel walls with a toxic layer called mucoid plaque. This blocks the absorption of nutrients and can literally starve the body if it gets bad enough. This sludge is also a breeding ground for parasites that gobble up nutrition that was meant for you. Mucoid plaque is acidic and can eat away intestinal tissue. If you don't move your bowels at least twice a day, you are constipated. Some people only move them once every week or two. Fecal matter sitting in the colon putrefies and toxins get reabsorbed into the blood causing headaches, bad breath, brain fog, bloating, abdominal pain, heart arrhythmias, and more. Sulfur used in pharmaceutical antibiotics accumulates in the bowels. It suppresses the lymph system and weakens intestinal tissues. Sulfur is a fungal proliferator that explodes yeast like candida and other microparasites. Many people with chronic fatigue, cancer, diabetes, and so-called autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and fibromyalgia have sulfur accumulations in the bowels. It shows up in the iris of the eye around the pupil as an orange hue. Switching to a diet of mostly raw fruits and vegetables is one of the best things you can do for your gut health. They cleanse naturally and keep things moving. When detoxing, always make sure your kidneys are filtering out lymphatic waste. Lymph is the body's sewer system and all cells in the body dump their waste into it for cleaning. Cells in the GI tract are no different. If the lymph is not clean, it becomes acidic and destroys tissues in the esophagus, stomach, intestines, and all over the body for that matter. Please see my YouTube video on kidney filtration. There's a link below. The adrenals control the kidneys so you won't have clean lymph unless they are strong. Weak adrenals can also cause nerve weakness leading to constipation. Work on the adrenals at the same time you work on the kidneys and the GI tract. This information is also in the video I mentioned. To detox and restore the intestines, use herbs that gently stimulate the bowels, are not habit forming like laxatives, clean out bowel pockets, help break down mucoid plaque, stimulate lymph and blood flow, soothe and remove inflammation, kill parasites, and strengthen the intestinal walls. Cascara sagrada, plantain, white oak bark, and slippery elm bark are good choices, but a synergistic formula is much better in my opinion. I recommend Dr. Robert Morris's stomach and bowels tonic capsules. It comes in various strengths based on how many bowel movements you have per day. Choose formula number one if you're going more than twice a day. Number two if you go one or two times a day or sometimes just miss a day. Take the number threes if you're going less than once a day. Number fours if you're going once every third day or so. Go for the number fives if your bowels are hardly moving at all. Take as directed for several months. You can adjust the strength as your regularity improves. Most of us have lots of work to do and need more power. Dr. Morris's GI broom has bentonite clay and activated charcoal to really pull toxins and inflammation out of the bowel walls. It's great for removing impactions, mucoid plaque, and sulfur. Don't take this if you're currently constipated or if you have intestinal pain. It's really strong stuff. I would use the stomach and bowels tonic for at least a month before using the GI broom. I would also use Dr. Morse's Lymphatic System Tonic No. 1 capsules to help move lymph deep inside the bowel walls. Intestinal tissues can burn from the inside out just like any other part of the body. Unhealthy intestines are also a breeding ground for all kinds of unwanted bacteria, fungus, and microparasites. I would use Dr. Morse's Parasite M formula for a few months to get rid of them. If you're eating mostly raw fruits and veggies, your body will restore its balance of good gut flora naturally without the need of probiotics. 
If you experience hemorrhoids, bowel prolapses, or bowel pockets, also known as diverticulitis, you have connective tissue weakness. This is linked to the parathyroid gland, which controls calcium utilization. The bones, joints, skin, blood vessels, organs, etc. all depend on calcium to keep their structure. There's a link below on how to strengthen the parathyroid to get more calcium to these tissues. Most laxatives are habit forming. If you have to use one to get the bowels moving, Dr. Schultz makes a strong herbal one, but use it only in emergencies. Colonics can help clear tough impactions that have sometimes been there for years, but use them sparingly. Enemas can help if you're constipated, but be careful of becoming dependent on them. The bowels must be restored so they can handle elimination on their own. Overstimulation won't ease a chronic bowel condition. Only detoxification and restoration will. You can literally watch your eyes change color as toxins are eliminated. Orange around the pupil is from sulfur. Dark brown is from toxic bowels. This will begin to disappear during detox. Some brown or hazel eyes will even go back to blue. Detoxification and restoration can take many months or even years. Don't rush it. There is no quick fix. I wish you good luck on your journey to Wellville and may God bless. Thanks for watching.